Hello everyone. This is Dr. Muhammad Hashim. I am working as an associate professor in National Textile University, Festabad, Pakistan. My today topic of discussion is unlocking the sustainable production indicators, which is the most important and hot topic from the academia and industrial point of view. For giving a good overview, the today discussion is divided in following sections. The first section is overview of sustainable production, significance of study, key problem, research objectives, proposed methodology, practical applications, main findings, managerial implications, and at the end I will discuss with you concluding remarks of my study. Sustainable production is becoming an important strategy through which business enterprises prepare for achieving sustainable development goals. The concept of sustainable manufacturing mainly focuses on efficient utilization of resources and managing the socio-economic and environmental aspects within industrial operations. In present research discussion, five main indicators and 25 sub-indicators were determined through extensive review of literature and from the input of industrial experts. The increase in demand required the manufacturing industries to expand their production capacity and focus on sustainability for meeting the customer demands. Recently, international buyers are putting pressure on Pakistani textile industries to adopt sustainable production indicators in the textile production process to improve technical, logical, social, economic, core competencies and operational aspects. Thus, this study filled the existing gap regarding the identification of key sustainable production indicators and their categorization that are very critical in the contents of developing country and also as well as in the contents of textile industries. Nowadays, due to climate changes, environmental and water issues, the societies are facing serious health issues. The major source of these issues are manufacturing industries. The pressure from stakeholders that the manufacturing industry should revise the business practices and adopt sustainability. The concept of sustainability has expanded and include the environmental impact and social performance aspects of industries. It becomes very important to explore the sustainable way of manufacturing processes and the assessment of sustainability in manufacturing industries. So in today's discussion, we will explore and evaluate the production indicators pertaining to the achievement of sustainability in a textile supply chain. There are three main and basic objectives of this uh, presentation. The first is to explore the sustainable production indicators in a textile supply chain. The second one is to propose a novel Tesco-based FASI EHP approach for the evaluation of sustainability dimensions. The third and last one objective is to rank the indicators and suggest policy implications to the stakeholders. The proposed research investigate the key sustainable dimensions based on technical, logical, social, economic, core competencies, operational and operational considerations to prioritize the sustainable production indicators. For this purpose, a quasi hierarchical methodology is applied for identifying and prioritizing the key indicators of sustainable production in a textile supply chain. The panel of experts include both from academia and industry. A novel Tesco-based quasi-EHP approach was introduced. 
Tesco stands for technical, ecological, social economic, core competency and operational factors of manufacturing industries. This uh, figure gives the overview of our research framework. Here we can see there is a three phases in our research methodology. The first phase is experts team formation. The second is fuzzy AHP method. The third one is sensitivity analysis. The first method, the first phase, expert team formations. Here we can see that we study existing literature review and experts' opinion from both sources. We identified we identify sustainable production indicator in a textile supply chain. And next, we determine indicators main criterion and sub criterion. And then we move to our second phase of second phase to apply quasi AHP. By applying quasi AHP, we do pairwise comparison and compute criterion weight. And further, if the weight is approved, yes, then we move to ranking the sustainable production indicators. Do the results highly fluctuate? Yes, then we give suggest suggested corrective measures. If no, then we say that this is the optimal ranking. And then we move to our concluding remarks. At this and last stage, we applied sensitive analysis at the third phase. The proposed problem based on hierarchical structure, which divides four major levels. The first level unlocking and exploring the sustainable production indicator in a textile supply chain. At second level, the five major indicators were identified. At third level, determined 25 sub-indicators. And at the fourth and last level, analyzing the ranking of indicators using fuzzy AHP method. This figure also gives the idea of our proposed methodology. The first level, Unlocking sustainable production indicators at second, se uh, second level, there is a main criterion. The five main criterion, technical, ecological, social, economic, core competencies, and the last and fifth one is operational. At the third level, sub-criterion. Here we can see that the first main criterion have three sub-criterion. Second main criterion have six sub-criterion. And the third main criteria has seven sub criteria, and the fourth one has a four sub criteria, and the last one has a five sub criteria. And at the fourth level, prioritizing of sustainable production indicators in a textile supply chain. The main finding of our study depicts that this study identified five major dimensions of sustainability and 25 sub-indicators by formulating pairwise comparison matrix. The consistency ratio values were calculated to check the level of consistency among all matrix which were less than 0.1, which shows that our results are acceptable. The main findings depict that technical indicators have significant impact, whereas operational indicators have least impact in the decision-making process of a textile sector. Furthermore, the sensitivity analysis was conducted to analyze the fluctuation of key indicators by changing their weight. Here in this table, we can see that the first column be giving information about the main sustainability dimensions. Here we mentioned five major and main dimension of sustainability, technical, logical, socio-economic, 
core competencies and the last one is operation and at the second column here the second column giving the information about main criterion weight and the third column giving the information about the sub criterion uh, sub criterion here we mentioned and the next uh, column giving the information about consistency ratios of for the each main criterion here we can see that the all consistency ratio values are less than 0.1 that showing our results are acceptable and after the column of consistency ratio there is a column of relative weight using ehp these are the relative weights of all sub criterion and the next column giving the information about global weighting weight using ehp so this column we adopt multiplying the main criterion uh, weight with relative weight of using ehp then we get this uh, the second last column and the last column giving information about the ranking of sub criterion here the top rank give, giving number 1 and least important uh, factor giving number 25 so we we can rank it from 1 to 25 uh, our uh, at the one ranking is technical dimensions and at the least and 25 there is a core competencies criteria and here we can see that the consistency uh, analysis the figure shows that there is a slight fluctuation in our criterions it has been noticed that slight changes can be seen in other indicator after changing the weight values the slight fluctuation is seen in the in the ranking level of ecological indicators socio economic indicators core competencies and operational indicators respectively the findings of the result depict that technical indicator found as on top rank indicators therefore management of the textile forum should pay more attention on technical issues the managers can fix the technical issues in the organizational environment by adopting the sophisticated te te technologies like artificial intelligence internet of things blockchain technologies artificial intelligence the management should have the ability to select the efficient and most suitable technology for running the rot normal routine operations of the firm this study would be helpful to the domestic and international stakeholders by advancing the level of supply chain the present study would be helpful for the industrial managers in improving production management practices in the textile supply chain by adopting sustainable production indicators this research study presents a model for sustainable production indicators for the textile manufacturing firms the weight vector of indicators were calculated using fuzzy ehp the technical indicators are followed by ecological indicator socio economic indicators core competency indicators and finally operational indicator have the less impact regarding future new research paper can be developed for multiple sectors like automotive industry the pharmaceutical industry chemicals and the plastic industry thanks for listening and watching